Kinley, you hadn't pitched in a week, so you knew that you needed the work. Coming into a non-safe situation, you know these guys are going to be aggressive. It seems that's what Varcho did to you, but how do you approach these non-safe situations? It's tough, you know. I mean, you got to find your adrenaline. But, hey, every win counts right now, you know, and no excuse. Uh, they didn't execute that pitch. They me deep, but, you know, I got to be ready for tomorrow. You mentioned that every win counts right now. You guys had lost four straight. Technically, I guess it was five straight, but definitely four straight. How much of a relief was it for this team right now, given where you are, to just get back in the win column? I think it's good for these young guys. You know, we all just calm down a little bit. You know, I think this win is a good win. We just need to stop pressing a little bit. I feel like we are pressing a little bit too much right now, and, you know, we want to make things happen instead of just slow it down, and, and that it happens. So uh, I think it was a great call by AC that shut that door till 4 p.m. today, and, you know, we're looking out for another one tomorrow. You guys collectively as a group you raced three men on the bases including two at home plate just how important was it for you guys to get back to the brand of baseball that you had been playing i mean it's very important man like i say man every every, every game counts now like hey like if you want to do it we gotta do it now so you know and we just gotta play a good game just you know stay focused on every pitch you know every pitch that we're gonna pitch out there we're gonna make and those here to be locked in on every pitch and you know take one at a time one pitch at a time and see how it goes we got 36-year-old you, 38-year-old Chris Martin, now 44-year-old Rich Hill. How nice is it to see the quote-unquote old guys still being able to get it done hey, at this level? Hey, 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 that's just a number, you know? So, like you say, a fine wine, you know, at age well. So, um, I don't feel old no more in this clubhouse, but definitely, you know, going to be good. And so, we're going to enjoy it. All right, Kenley, keep it going. Thanks so much. All right, thank you. Yeah, I mean, he had a great game, uh, not only offensively, but defensively. Uh, the relay, um, I think you know, that, that kind of changed the game. Um, the third second to get Vladi, and then the 8-6-2 uh, to get the guy at the plate. Um, you know, like I've been saying all along, you know, he's, he's one of the best players in the big leagues, man. And, and every night, you know, you're like in awe of the things that he's doing. Uh, we act surprised, but we should expect this, right? Like, that's what he's doing now. And, uh, you know, he set the tempo right away, got a pitch in, hit it hard, and, you know, from there we just kept going. Is that, is 2020 done pretty nice? I mean, yeah. I mean, it's it's going to make a lot of money. Uh, this being, you know, the outfield, the defense, the relays, all that type of stuff tonight. Yeah, it's good. And we talk about the defense today with the guys, you know, like we have to be precise, we have to be better, you know, and we have conversations. Uh, and it's not lack of effort. Um, sometimes it's probably more, right? Like we're trying to do too much. Uh, and, you know, Willie did an outstanding job getting behind that ball, throwing the ball on the money. Um, you know, um, Jaron playing the, the ball perfectly off the wall. Uh, and then Rafaela with the can him to the plate, so it was a good it was a good one. Does familiarity with Carlos the third play into to it at all? Or is that something you guys say? No, you just gotta go. I mean we expect them to be aggressive. You talked a little bit pregame about resetting, right? And sort of coming in late and all that stuff and just getting away from how after the game, like just how big they were during how big do you think that, that was for no. Well, no, tomorrow we'll do it again. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, we win a stretch. We we're we in a stretch. A, a tough one as far as like games and innings and and traveling. So uh, <clears throat> you know we joke around like let's do it that way. But I think it's more about taking care of them. Uh, there's nothing wrong with them spending time with their families and have lunch somewhere instead of showing up here at one and be here the whole day. You know, uh, we're late in August. Uh, they know what they have to do for their routines, and I, I think it's kind of like a good, kind of like uh, change of pace, right? Like uh, we, it's very important, but there's other stuff that is more important probably, and you detach yourself from 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 the game a little bit, and then you come here and you're ready to go. Huge, huge. Uh, you know they have a good lineup. Uh, they're very dynamic now. Different line, different lineup like early in the season. You know they they can do a lot of stuff. They're lefties. They hit the ball out of the po uh, park. You know, young, and uh, more patient. So uh, it's tough to match up. But uh, you know, Coop got some big outs. Uh, the double play by um, by uh, Willie. Then we turn another play with uh, Rafaela. That was 
tremendous, you know. And, uh, you know, everybody did their job, and we got we got the W. Is there, what exactly is going on with uh, Garcia? Um, it's uh, elbow inflammation. So, um, you know, we'll get more information throughout the night and tomorrow, and we'll see where he at. Anything on Rafi for tomorrow? Nothing yet. Probably he'll, he'll be off. Uh, I'm just trying to get pitches in my area and just trying to do damage, you know, just trying to get on base for the guys. But um, I don't really contribute my home runs to anything. I think I'm just putting good swings on balls that I'm looking for right now. You're the first player in Major League Baseball with uh, so 10 triples, 20 homers, 30, um, 30 stolen bases, and 40 doubles. Um, is that, how crazy is that? I mean, that's pretty crazy but I mean it's just a stat I mean it doesn't really mean anything you know it's it's going to be broken eventually I mean you know guys like B. Witt who can do that in his sleep so you know it's a it's a cool honor but you know it's at the end of the day it doesn't do anything for the team unless I'm helping them win so but it's a it's a pretty awesome stat to have. Alex talk about having you guys get here a lot later than normal today after what the last few days have been like is do you feel like that reset was helpful you know to have a few more extra hours at home that type of stuff? Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of guys came in today, like got to spend time with their family in the mornings, not having to feel like they had to be at the field too early. So I feel like it helps some guys, you know, get a little extra sleep, you know, especially after a doubleheader like that. So it's always good to get some rest and, and get our bodies back under us. The plays on defense tonight, you know, two assists for you. How much pride do you take in that? Yeah, I mean, anytime I can help out my pitchers in any way I can, you know, that Huddy's always preaching that to back up our pitchers you know they they make great pitches for us and if they make a mistake then that's why they got us to help them out so you know if we keep doing that you know I'm, I'm very proud of this outfield you know we're working our butts off bastante bien este siempre salimos a atacar desde el primer inning y este eso fue lo que hicimos hoy también y este el picheo se pudo mantener y pudimos mantener el juego así como estaba con la ventaja desde el primer inning Oh, it was great. It was great. That's that's our game plan. Attack the the opposing pitcher uh, since the, uh, from the from the start from the first inning, and we were able to score some runs. and And the pitcher were the pitcher the pitching were were able to to give us uh, uh, to maintain the the lead. Jaron's teammate this year. Uh, how, how impressed are you? With just what what he's bringing to the team on a, on a daily basis, including tonight. No, de verdad es algo bastante emocionante verlo jugar a él todos los días, ver lo que está haciendo, lo que lo que él puede hacer y este es increíble ver todo lo que él ha brindado al equipo. No, it's amazing, it's amazing and very exciting to watch him play every night and to see all the things that he brings to the to the to the club, to the to the game day day in and night in and night night out. So it's very exciting for us to to have him as a teammate. It was huge, it was huge for us today, um, that we played defense today. Um, I think those those plays help us win this game today. How did that throw kind of feel coming out of the hand? Did you have a feeling there was gonna be Yeah, I, when I threw it I knew it was, was a good throw, so I knew I knew that we had a chance to, to cut him out. It's one of those uh, executed well by everyone, Duran getting it to you and then uh, Dan, Danny made a nice tag. Yes, yes, JD, JD make a, a good job there to, to get it quick to me. And I, and I did a good job to get quick to him and, and two good throws, it was, it was a good play.